This is one of those types of things that you either found it very easy or very hard. And if you found it very hard, I hope you um, use the resources, the homework help video, or came to the Zoom to get some help. But once you get the hang of it, this is actually pretty easy. I'm going to give the answers, and then you can feel free to skip past the explanation of these three sets of problems and go on to the next one if you're if you got them all right. But if you missed any, I would stay for the explanation. Um, Set 1, uh, A, this is 5 in base 10, 1 B is 6 in base 10, 1 C is 2 in base 10, and 1 D is 7 in base 10. And when you cross out those correct answers, you're left with 8 <clears throat> for set 1, so an E under the number 1 there. 4 A is 8 in base 10, 4 B is 16 in base 10. 4C is 26 in base 10, and 4D is 17 in base 10. And the remaining unused answer is 21, so letter I above the 4, right there. 7A is 64 in base 10. 7B is 97 in base 10. 7C is 91 in base 10. And the binary number for 7D is 116 in base 10. And after crossing out those correct answers, you're left with L87, L under the 7. Now I'm going to go over how I did those. And there are actually some shortcuts that I didn't realize that are kind of interesting. So I hope some people are using this. Um, we don't need to, <clears throat> we don't need to put a one, we don't necessarily need to do this for every single one once we get the hang of it. But if I have one, one, zero twos and one four, I have a four and a and a one and zero twos. Four and one is five. That's how I got five for this one. Um, and if you were using the method I showed you in the near pod, you could just be, be like moving a coin into each spot rather than writing every time since there are so many problems. But there's actually a shortcut. Once you, once you sort of know that this is the forest place, and this is the twos place, four and two is six. Uh, this is one, two, and zero ones. One, two, and zero ones would equal two. And there's a shortcut for the ones that are all ones. Um, think of it this way. If I, if I gave you all nines, right, all nines in base 10, that's one less than the next place value. The next place value is a thousand. So if you're filled up completely, you're one less than the next number. In other words, let me show you what I mean, because this will help with some future problems. If you, if you have three digits and they're all filled up, in order to go one more, you would need to go to the eight. So I must have one less than eight. I must have seven. That's how I knew this one was seven without even doing any work. It's a four, a two, and a six. But rather than do that additive um, approach, just subtract one from the next highest place value because these are all filled up with ones and that's as high as they can go. Um, number, uh, speaking of eight, this is eight because that's if we went up to the next place value. If I have one eight and none, none of these other place values, I have eight. This one is a one in the sixteens place and nothing else, so sixteen. I should cross these out so you can see the we get we get what we said before. A one is E, <clears throat> and then uh, we've got an eight and a sixteen so far. If I know this is sixteen, that's sixteen, that's eight, and a two, eight and two is ten plus sixteen is twenty six. This is twenty six in base ten, and this is a sixteen and a one, so that's uh, seventeen in base ten leaving us with the 21, the I for 4. Here I have, I need to count how many digits this is, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7th place value is the 64th place. And if all I have is a 64 and nothing else, I have 64. Here I have a 64 and a 32 and nothing else except for a 1. So 64 and 32 is 96, plus 1 is 97. 
Uh, I'm going to reset these. For 7C, we have we've got a we've got a 64. We don't have a 32. We have a 16, an 8, and then a 2 and a 1. So I have um, 8 and 2. That's 10. Plus one more is 11. Plus 16 is 27. Plus 64 is 91. Base 10. It's a lot easier if you're doing this with just um, some kind of a some some actual object to place on your paper. I don't, you don't have to do all this erasing that I'm doing. Um, one one one, one one one, then a zero, then a one, and then two zero. So I've got a four, and I've got a sixty-four, and a thirty-two, and a sixteen. The sixty-four and the sixteen add up to eighty, and this is thirty-six. So 116, leaving us with the L for 7. Okay, on the next set of uh, problems,